What is up, everybody? My name is Hudson. Welcome to Ember Nights. As Modi Digital reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in a sponsorship for this game, it took me about five seconds on the Steam page. Mm, action roguelike, beautiful graphics, local and online co-op, less than 20 bucks. To realize that absolutely, I'm 100% on board. So thank you, Asmodee Digital, for sponsoring this episode. This game launches early access April 20th, and if you want to check it out for yourself, a link to that Steam page is in my description down below. So what is this? Who are the Ember Knights? Something about a magical tree, something about a dark lord that tries to take over everything and summons a bunch of beasts. And it's up to the Ember Knights, wielding dozens of weapons and skills through action-packed combat rooms filled with enemies, champions, mini bosses, boss bosses, and many, many tries to build up that perfect run. So I played this game for about an hour and a half. For my first couple runs, I was able to meet a couple bosses, unlock some things, reawaken the ember tree, get this guy right here. These little bros came back to life, which is pretty exciting. I am so sorry. I have two different weapons currently available to me. We can use the Ember Tree for permanent upgrades for our runs. I currently have regeneration per room, starting with bonus gold, bonus damage when I'm high health, and a damage upgrade. Next to attack, A to dodge roll. Let's get started. Let's jump in. Starting off in Skogfirth. Very, very pretty environments, you guys. Also, interactable. First room, let's go. So it's very, very fast paced, as you can see. And you gotta really actually work on your dodge rolling a lot. Memorizing attack patterns here is going to be a big deal. Got a little bonus bag here in our first room. Randomly generated rooms. Sometimes you can find loot in them. This one's giving me chronograph. While in boss rooms, your skills recharge quicker. And some food. Who's this? Whoa! Don't sneak up on a person like that. Because it's sort of my fault. All these meanies out here, and I'm staring at this strange thing. Wait a second. Aren't you one of those Amber Knights? That means yes, I guess. You are! I knew it! You must be why these skill tablets just showed up all of a sudden. This one's ruined. Someone just destroyed it or cracked it when it fell from the sky? Maybe. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? The name's Evie. If I had a nickel for every single millennial that named their child Evie, I would be the richest person alive. I'll be an NPC back at base. Next. Oh! Oh! No! Eh! So it's a, ooh, I gotta, ooh, it's, the stress is high stress in this game. But you know what? We gotta get this spawner over here. That'll make things a little bit easier on me. The map is kind of like, a, oh, I missed. I, I'm telling you, man, you gotta be good at timing. Anyways, there are oftentimes multiple paths to take in the map. So you branch out like a tree, kind of slay the spire ask. Our skill is blast bomb. Charges one and, and recharges at 15 hits on enemies. So that's how you recharge your items. This one's locked to my Y button. Screw you, Log. All right, bombs away. See, pretty good stuff. We want to use our abilities as much as possible. One more hit, and I got this thing charged up. Bombs away. Got him. Some things that I like so far about this game. Vibrant, beautiful, the pixel art. Yes! The difficulty. Uh, it's pretty difficult. My regeneration already has me back at full health. That's also super important because I get a damage boost. But I would say this game is fairly difficult. Another thing that's like really awesome, it's less than 20 bucks. Once again, there's a link to the Steam page if you guys want to check it out. Wish list it, wait for it to go on sale, whatever you want to do. Venomous necklace. Whenever you use a skill, it creates a burst of poison. Oh, another little bag over here. I almost missed it. More health that I don't need. It's too bad I can't save that for later. Bombs away. Okay, that huge blast of poison. See, I thought that was actually their poison. That was mine. Oh, get out of there. Oh, no. New worm enemy. Never mind. Here's where we have a branching option. Extra ember. Unlock the permanent abilities of the ember tree. Or a stat bonus selector. Let's go stat bonus selector. That sounds like more fun. We have to pay attention to rooms and breakable pots. Because we can get some extra cash for the shop. Stat bonus selector. Go. Increase damage, increase max HP, or skill damage. I'm gonna go increase damage, gem of power. We don't get the bomb back very often, so I think just increasing my normal slices would be a better deal. You know, 15 slices in order to get my ability back. 15 times three, that's 45 extra damage before I can even use my bomb. So I'd say pretty good. And this looks like a mini boss to me. Yes, you ready? I'm feeling ready. 
Sanguine Sucker. Block, watch out for that attack. Oh, he got me in that third one. I didn't know it was a triple attack there. Two and three. Yep. Hey, this might be a champion. Yeah, this is a champion. I fought this one before and only had two attacks, so they, they change it up. Looks like every now and again. Nope. Nope. Bomb him. Oh, I should have tried to get him into that poison ring. Okay, yeah, that looks dangerous. If I shoot those glowing mushrooms, too, I get some health back. And I might want to actually do that now. So I can get that bonus damage back. Oh, that is a big attack. That is a wide range on that. Dodge. Dodge it. Sanguine sucker. More like sanguine you suck. Her. Got him. No! <laughs> wow. Dodge. Dodge. The perfect dodge. That dodge thing shows up when I do it perfectly. Bruh. Bomb him. Oh. That's good. That's good. Chop time. I don't even have enough for these. Oh my gosh. 169. This costs 225. Whenever you hit an enemy with perfect skill, it freezes them. I don't know how to do a perfect skill. That's something I don't know yet. Whenever you defeat an enemy with a status ailment, that status spreads to other nearby enemies. Oh, that could have been really good with the poison build. Incoming damage is reduced. Only one I can afford. I'll take it. Keep it moving. Slice and dice, guys. They slice, they dice, they give you some really good hugs. They'll hug you for the rest of your life. If you ever do get hit by them, I think it's like upwards of like 20 damage. It's crazy. We have a skill selector. Shoot a spinning bladed disc that ricochets off enemies. Shackram. Or amber fire. Damage and burn nearby enemies with a cone of mystical flame. I kind of want to try the Shackram, but I do know that the amber fire actually, there's a secret, it can cook food. So it can turn food into like better versions. Try the Shackram though. I've been pretty okay on food so far. Watch me take so much damage after I say something like that too. Shackram, go! Okay, I like the fact that it uh, ricochets. That's that's nice. Healing Fountain, no way. Stat bonus selector, yes way. Oh, I got hit there. Yeah, that was, that was a big hit. I got greedy. What stat do we want? Move speed, max HP, or crit damage? Well, we only have 2% crit chance. Crit damage probably won't be that good. Let's go movement speed. Since we kind of have a health build, I think max health could have been pretty okay, but hopefully movement speed will make it so I take damage less. If I get really close to them and then hit them with the Shackram, I also get that poison off. That's delicious. And then my bomb. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say the skills feel pretty, pretty good, pretty meaningful. You never have this too good to use syndrome because like it's not based off of mana it's just based off of hitting them so like if you're gonna keep fighting which you literally have to you should just use your skills once again though all the skills that i've seen have been worth using boss time we get a heal pre-boss if we need it it'd be super cool if you had like full health already and then you ate something if there was some sort of bonus maybe there's something that i'll unlock later that'll allow me to do that Weaver of Decay. Skrixazaw. Very, very fast attacks. Some AoE there. He's doing some sort of spit attack. He can hit you in the back. Yikes. Okay, what is he, what is he doing now? I got him at the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Don't mess with that. Don't mess with that. No! Oh, I almost messed with that. Almost got him two-thirds. Doing some jumpies. Got that poison off, too, with that skill thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that bomb off. We're doing really, really well here. Got these high-damage hug guys, though. Nope. Nope. Oh! No, 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 no. It's just you and me. It's just you and me now! Ooh. Get him! Woo. Oh my god, that was awesome. And that's the first time I've ever beaten that guy without taking any damage. I don't think I took damage. Increase max HP by four. Gem of Vigor. Alright. I'm jacked. 
What's this? Bonus chest. Defeat area boss under seven minutes. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. If you and your friends are looking for that next level difficulty, I think that time trials is a good way to do that. Through the terror we go. Next level. Steadfast Citadel. Hey, we have a little bonus bag here. Nice. It's all about ice. So we have this ice statues here. They can harm you. They can freeze you. We got archers. We got knights. Take that, archer. I still don't know what this horn does. Use the horn. Oh, you know what? It gave me some, some bonus stats, looks like. Great. Can we use these? Yeah, we still got them right now. <laughs> oh my god, the archers. <laughs> Dodge this. Oh no! These guys are tough. Not tough enough, though. All right, Relic Selector, give me something good here. Harvest Scythe, your skills deal bonus damage against enemies with status ailments. Well, if I use my skill next to them, apply poison, then that skill will then do more damage to them immediately. Steward's Toolbox, your skills have an additional charge. Mmm. Whenever you defeat a frozen enemy, you heal three. Well, we're not freezing anybody. Heal build could be really good though. I'm gonna go with the Steward's Toolbox here to try to have more Shackrams. Ice Mage, which Double Shackram. Go. He's got the double poise. Oh, God. 16 damage. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Knock it off. Stop it. I should have gone heal build. I should have taken the frozen thing. Try to find some upgrade that freezes enemies. Don't forget to break everything around the map for extra money. You can jump over small gaps, too. Pretty important. Mini boss. No blob. Royal ph Phalanx. Phalanx? What does he got? Icicle. I don't even know what those are. Is that summoning frozen enemies? Oh my goodness gracious. Give me that food. Give me that food. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, that is so much damage. Okay, yeah. When those things pulse that ice, it does damage to me. Finish him. Yikes. I got hit a couple times there. Almost killed me. Lucky couple of apples and my shop. Damage and burn nearby enemies with a cone of mystical ember fire. Okay, we could take it now. Let's try the ember fire here instead of the bomb. Oh my god, so many things going on in this room. I'm fine. I feel great. Add some really good skills there. I'm half healthier. Boss time. Luckily, we can get a heal before we go in. Let me see if I can use this wham ability to make double healing. All right, let me in. Hello? Galactic Despot Lord Bruma. Okay, this, it's just, they throw you in so quickly. Hit him, hit him. No. He's summoning these ice enemies too. And I gotta try to kill. Oh, good shot. Get him with that poison too, with your skills. Delicious. Jump over that. Dodge that. I'm loving the poison. Okay. Oh, that's that's super cool. Nope. I love it when he does that move. Sitting duck. 
Did you get demolished? Okay. What do we got going on here? This again. Oh. Come on, come on. I'm almost done. Just finish him. Woo. Oh my goodness. Max HP by four. Next level. Whitesbury. Little haunted house action. New enemies to face here. These ghost birds. Ghost rats. Towers that shoot things. Oh my god, nine damage on that tower. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Still came after me. Gravestone, use it. I got a friendly little wisp buddy. Another one? Give me all the- ANOTHER ONE! Is that a golden lamp? Yes, it was. Golden skull? Yep. And a chest. I'm, I'm just waiting on a mimic to happen. New skill! Blast bomb is back, but frost wall. An ice barrier to freeze enemies where they stand. I... Yeah, let's try it. Ice wall. That is pretty handy. Mini boss time. Harold. Harry? What are you doing, Harry? Don't stand in the chain. Oh! Wow. Don't stand in the chains. Don't get hit by the balls either. Oh, 12 damage per ball. Impressive, Harry. Pretty impressive. A lot of chains. A lot of chains. Okay, I didn't even see what happened there. He summoned a thing that summoned more things. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm all dead here. Oh, I touched the chains. I touched the chains. Let's get back to the ember tree here. See what we unlocked. Brings knights. Found another relic orb. I found a couple, actually. You got toxic bangle. The first time you hit an enemy with your weapon, it poisons them. And juicy opal. Your healing is increased. Also have a bunch of upgrade points to spend. Do bonus damage. This contraption here is a skill convergence and creation device. New skills. I knew it. Define skill tablets by defeating bosses and mini bosses. Got it. Let's do one more run, but with the guardian bow. So big thing here is that the ember blade gives me plus 20 max HP and 25% crit on third attack. The bow gives me movement speed, multi-shot on third attack, and hold attack for a piercing arrow. So we have this or this. Big thing here is just going to be never get hit ever. I'm liking the damage on it, though. That's pretty good. Arcane bolts conjures magical bolts that seek out and damage enemies near and far. That sounds good for a ranged build. Should we try it? Yeah. That'll work. We get three charges in this thing. We also have whenever you crit, you heal. Probably not going to be critting. Up to 5% with the bow, though. So, you know, with how many shots we're putting out, maybe. Mini boss, give me that skill tablet. Gusts. Okay, so they do actually have different names. Okay, and different abilities. Go. I wonder if they're different depending on what weapon you choose. This one seems like it, it comes after you more than the last one did. No problem, though. And we got our skill tablet. Lightning bolts leave a temporary static charge in the ground that stuns enemies. Let's try the lightning bolts one. See if we can't get some sort of lightning build. Boss already. Let's do it. You trying to melee or this ranged unit? You big dumb. We're shredding this dude. Okay, that's a good one though. No. Oh my goodness. Loving this with ranged. Finish him? No! Finish him. Do it. I really like that with the bow. Skill tablet. Got it. Crit chance. Yes. 10%. Oh, that's going to be good. Whenever you defeat an enemy, there's a chance to conjure a lightning bolt. We got to do the lightning. Mini boss. 
Double snow blob? <laughs> what? Phalanx bros. Oh no. And they're summoning these snowball enemies too that I got to deal with. No. Oh. Bruh. But I get the chance to summon the lightning every time I kill one of the snowballs. Oh, seven damage for the snow. Ah! Almost got one of them done. Oh, 15! Oh, no, 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 no. One's done, one's done, one's done. Get him, 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 get him. Get this food that's lying around here. Back to full HP, thankfully. No, get out of there. Oh, thank you for that lightning. I really tried to go fast, as fast as I could. So let's see if we can beat the speed limit thing. Let's see if we can beat the time trial. Let's go, Bruma. Third of the way through already. Oh, that's 20 damage per sword. Are you kidding me? I just, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, we unlocked a new thing over here. We've identified a new skill. Rupture. Heap the ground surrounding you to stun and damage enemies. Cyclone. Call a cyclone to pull your enemies a safe distance away. And Ballista. Summon an ethereal ballista to decimate approaching enemies. Awesome stuff, you guys. This has been our first look at Ember Knights. Once again, thank you to Asmodi Digital for sponsoring this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to follow the link in the description where you guys can get this game for yourself for $15. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're going to check it out in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you guys.